Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the switch case function in C++ to make a simple calculator. Now, what all things are we going to require? First, of course, I'm going to use two numbers. So A and B. Also, I'll use sum, difference, product and quotient. Now I will take the input from the user. So enter two numbers C in A and B. And now what I know is that sum is A plus B, difference is A minus B, product is a into b and quotient is a minus b i have done a previous program on this so i can directly use this operations here i have written enter two numbers and sum difference product and quotient so i can use this whole program but with the little modifications that i'm going to tell you right now don't worry, I'm going to tell you exactly what again I have done. I have done that sum is a plus b, difference is a minus b, similarly product, quotient, and I have displayed a plus b is sum, a minus b is difference, and so on. Now comes the concept of switch case. So what we do in switch case? Switch function is used to check if I have a variables say I have X now if I have to perform certain task based on this value of this variable I can use if say if X is 1 so I will say see out anything say hello again if say X is 2 so again I can do any operation so if my value is say 2 I can say C out by similarly I can use other values as well say x is 3 4 5 6 so every time I'm using if it becomes a little bit of complicated and at the same time not very nice so we can use the concept of switch I'll tell you exactly what I do using this concept only say I have 3 and here 4 5 6 what I do here I use switch okay and what variable the variable is can be only one variable on which I can use switch so here the variable is x so what I have to do switch x followed by a brace and now I use case say case means what exactly is the value case 1 now this line means that if x equals to 1 what should I do I will say c out hello now what I have to do is use break <clears throat> what break does it is that it tells that the execution of case 1 is finished and I should come out of the switch if we don't use the break it is going to become a problem because again if say case 1 is true it will see out followed by case Two will also be used I tell you how I write case 2 what was my case 2 case 2 is C out by so I use C out by and break say I don't use the break so what is happening I don't use the break okay so what will happen say if value of x will become 1 
so it is going this is true so it will see out hello and again this will also be true so it will see out bye I tell you how I am going to use it I tell you the practical implementation say let's comment the whole program for a minute for multiple lines of comments we use slash star and star flash say I tell you int x and I use the switch x okay so switch x so I perform an operation on x so I use case 1 case 2 I am not using break right now okay okay so first tell me I tell you using break which is the correct method so this is the correct method I have to use break now I need the value of x so I will ask the user to enter a value so x c in x and based on the value of x we are performing an operation so let us run this code what is the problem expected okay so there is a problem of a brace somewhere what it is line 32 okay this is an extra brace so let us now run this code and definitely it is going to run now it runs so I have only one or two I put one it prints hello if I use two it will print bye now if I remove the break what is going to happen let us see if I write one it is going to print hello bye why it does because case one was true it printed out hello but there was no break so it was still inside the switch and again it went here case 2 and printed by say if I now one thing we have to remember is that if we print 2 so it will only print by by because first it went to case 1 it tested it it became false it came to case 2 it became true it printed by and there was nothing after this so it only printed by that is the difference so one thing that we come to know is that we always we should use break even after if we want after the last so one more thing say I run this code and I write anything else say 3 it is going to print nothing why because we only have for case 1 and 2 if the user enters 1 or enters 2 only for that we have something so one thing we if we want to tell the user say you haven't entered a correct number one way to do it is that I should write case 3 case 4 case 5 and so on but there's a simpler method to do it we use say default we use default and followed by C out uh, enter correct number what it is going to do is that it is going to tell the user that you haven't entered the correct number and we don't need break you can write break but it is of no use because it is the last statement so if I do this and I enter 5 enter correct number it tells me so that is what we use for default now coming back to our program uh, int actually this is this is something that we are going to use where I tell you see if you you can write any lines of code not a single line many lines of code in any case we don't use brace we have this colon over here so that it takes care of everything no braces are required so coming back to our program what else we need in the program is that uh, remember in that operations program it was printing everything but we don't need everything what we need is that we declare x over here only now we tell the user 
that we need an input from you so enter choice again I have told you the use of slash n and I tell the user that one to add again slash n two to subtract and so on so three for multiply and four to divide and we can use slash n wherever we want so here so this is my code subtract now I have taken the input from the user and in case one I want addition so I will use this line and this line as these are the two lines for addition so I will use these two lines and what else in the second if the user enters 2 so what it is going to do is that it is going to tell me to do the difference so I will print it over here and followed by this line what is required uh, else is left product so we use these two again enter okay case 3 and case 4 these two lines over here and quotient for the fourth case and print so these two are only left so I write it over here and it over here okay now indentation is very important in any code you will come to know this is just a little bit big code and see how much indentation is important you can see right now that now it becomes pretty much clear the importance of indentation so again what my code does in a single line I'll tell you see first these are the declarations we need two numbers a b some difference product quotient and x <clears throat> to check for the choice of the user I have told the user to enter two numbers which the user will enter after that I will tell him enter choice he should enter 1 for addition 2 for subtraction 3 to multiply and 4 to divide now I take the input from the user I am doing switch on x the user's choice if it is 1 so it should add and it should print the sum if it is 2 it should subtract and tell the difference similarly for 3 and 4 and if the user enters any other number it will tell enter correct number let us run this code enter two numbers I say 5 4 and now enter choice 1 to add 2 to subtract 3 to multiply 4 to divide if I use 2 so it will tell me the subtraction similarly once again if I do it enter two numbers 5 2 and uh, choice I do 3 it gives me the multiplication thank you for watching cs75.in tutorials